Hi, welcome to the Hottie Toddy Reader Spotlight. I'm Ashley Dees, and today I have with me Dr. Andy Mullins. Dr. Mullins is the Chief of Staff to the Chancellor Emeritus. Dr. Mullins, we're happy to have you with us here today. And can you tell us what book you brought to recommend? Oh, thank you, Ashley. Glad to be here. This is a nonfiction book by a popular historian by name Jay Winnick. And it's April 1865, uh, the month that saved America. And it has to do with, uh, of course, April of 1865, what went on during that month in American history, how important that was. All right, so tell us what you found interesting about it. Well, of course, it has to deal with the end of the Civil War, or with the, well, with the surrender both of uh, General Lee's army, uh, the Army of Northern Virginia, and also the Army of, of General Johnson. To Sherman. But what, what it has really brought out in this book is that Abraham Lincoln had met with both Grant and Sherman, knowing that the end of the war was imminent, and he told both of them, I want the most lenient peace, peace that you could possibly grant to them. I want easy surrender terms because we want to invite them back into the nation as seamlessly as we can. And so he urged both of them to give them, he said the worst thing that could happen would be for the two generals, the two Confederate generals, to tell their generals, their assistants and their generals, uh, to disband the army and fight guerrilla style. And Lee was faced with that. He had several of his um, closest confidants that urged him to do that, to tell his soldiers just go into the hills, go into the forest, and fight guerrilla-style warfare, which would, have, which would have been disastrous for any kind of lasting peace. And the war would have gone on for months, no kind of how much longer the war would have gone on, had Lee chosen to do that. And against the urging of his fellow generals, uh, he chose not to. And he told, his, he told his soldiers to go home. And one thing that's, that's relevant to today is he told his soldiers uh, who fought under the, the Confederate flag, what is known as today as the Confederate flag, uh, the battle flag of Northern Virginia. He told his soldiers to bury the flag, to cut it up as souvenirs, but not to fly it. Uh, so that's something that's often left out in today's debate about the, the Confederate flag. Uh, the other thing it, it uh, goes into detail on is, of course, what happened uh, a week later, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, and how that uh, changed uh, a lot of uh, what would have been done uh, to welcome the South back into the nation and created some pretty uh, rough times during Reconstruction. Uh, so it's a very interesting book. It goes into great detail. But Jay Winnick is a popular historian, and he writes in a style that's not too academic for the general reader to really enjoy the book, especially history buffs or people like me. Uh, I'm an educator who has a passion for history rather than a professional historian who has a passion for education. Uh, so these, these kind of books, the writers like Jay Winnick and, Dor and Doris Goodwin and, and uh, Nathaniel Fieldbrick um, and David McCullough, of what you call uh, popular historians. And so uh, I, I like a lot of their books. I like to read that kind of history. It sounds really interesting. So tell us why our faculty, staff, and students should read this book. Well, one reason they should read the book is because uh, what it tells everybody about the, the last days of the Civil War and the, and, and the effect, long-range effect, what happened had on the nation. Uh, both the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, which was just a disaster for the South, uh, and the nation as a whole, but especially for the South, uh, because of his forgiving attitude. Uh, but also uh, the fact that he couldn't be intimately involved in uh, the freeing of the slaves. Once the war was over and they were freed, um, there should have been more attention paid to their condition and more help for them to become citizens. Um, and rather than just abandon them soon after they were freed. Abraham Lincoln probably, according to Jay Winnick, 
would have been more involved in how to how to um, improve their condition and their assimilation into um, the citizenship. Well, thank you, Dr. Mullins, oh, for sharing more. this book with us. Thank and, you, Ashley. And if you are interested in reading April 1865, please come by the J.D. Williams Library and check out your copy. Thank you.